Hi, I'm Sandy Jerome, and welcome to week nine of Disney Sunrise Yoga. Uh, give you a little idea is I'm trying to attend the uh, Disney Sunrise Yoga in a year, and I want to make sure I don't fall down. So I am uh, learning all the poses uh, by watching the videos of previous ones that they've done so that um, I can be familiar with them. I am a certified uh, yoga instructor, but uh, it helps to learn the sequence of the poses that they're going to do there. And the reason why is, is that sometimes if you're in, let's say, downward facing dog, and they say, we're going to move into the cobra, which I believe we're going to do next week, uh, it helps to know, well, what is the cobra? So that, uh, you know, sometimes you're, you can't look up, you can't see the instructor. And so to know these poses uh, by their names and to be comfortable with doing them, uh, makes you going there uh, a little bit easier. Uh, so this week we're going to just talk about the table pose and we're going to talk about the tabletop versus the table. And uh, last week we did uh, the downward facing dog, which we, uh, which we did. Um, let me turn sideways here. Uh, we did the, the downward facing dog from the fold. And you remember with the fold, we, uh, we start out here and we use our block at first. Okay. To try to do our down to our tippy toes okay, until we're able to come all the way down and maybe even go behind here uh, and then rest even maybe put our our head you know up to here um, and then we went into uh, the downward facing dog but when we're at this position this is actually the table pose as you can see here I kind of look like a table okay as you're coming out here so the table pose is just being here, stretching out that back. And right here, this should be stretching your back right here when you're in this table pose. And I'm trying to do a straight back. I hope I'm doing it straight there. Um, and that's what helps to have, you know, an instructor that is actually watching you and saying, okay, you need to, you know, come down a little bit, you know, move your shoulders this way, that way. And that's called doing an adjustment. Um, so I can't do that for you. And I don't have someone here doing it for me. But uh, maybe even film yourself like this. And you can see, you know, was my back straight? Did I stretch it out? And there's my table pose. Then you have two. You have the table pose and you have the table top. So the table top is we're going to move into last week, which is the downward facing dog. We're going to inhale and step back. Okay. Exhale. We're going to, I'm going to rest down on my hands. Inhale. Step back. And when we're done, we can come down into what is called the tabletop, okay? Uh, and it basically, it's, it's being on all fours, okay? And I do have my chair here for stability if there's any problem. And I'm down on all fours. So being on the tabletop pose, that enables you to do a lot of different poses. We're going to be going into the cobra. We're going to move down into the cobra next week. We're going to do the, the cat and the cow. Uh, there's the balancing where you, well, actually the pointer dog where we're going to be doing that. Okay. So, you know, out that way. Uh, so a lot that you can do from the tabletop. Okay. So this is the tabletop. I'm going to step back in. Okay. One foot at a time and come into the table. Here's our table pose. Okay. And from being able to do this, be moving that back and forth, downward facing dog, up to the table, okay, down into the table pose. That allows you some flexibility so that you know how to move back and forth into these different poses. Okay, so stay tuned at the end of this video. I'm going to discuss the uh, Disney Sunrise video and what we're trying to achieve with this series. But um, and next week, we'll probably do maybe a little bit of review of the poses that we've done before. Thank you for watching. Hi, I'm Sandy Jerome, a novelist and a screenwriter and a huge Disney fan. But I'm also a certified yoga instructor, but have not taught it until now. I learned yoga to lose 30 pounds during COVID. But now I want to do the sunrise yoga at Disney. The problem is that I'm a little rusty. So I've studied all the YouTube videos online from the various Disney Sunrise Yoga events over the years and made a list of all the poses, and I'll create one lesson for each. 
and I'll go slow and also show you the chair method for most and hopefully you'll be like me and plan on attending a sunrise yoga in 2025 as part of your goals and maybe lose some weight. My yoga training is a little different than normal videos or classes because we'll have the background of my favorite places at Disney parks. You're going to get a lot of the animal kingdom because I live closest to that park and as a Florida annual pass holder and animal lover, I spend a lot of time there. If you take a standard yoga lesson, you might get bogged down with all the Sanskrit pose names and all the ways to do it exactly right. But to keep things generic and simple, I'm only going to tell you the tips to do the pose easier and feel good because if you're like me, you just want to go to the sunrise yoga and not fall down on that concrete at Disney. Be sure and visit my channel on YouTube when you're done and search on Sandy Jerome and subscribe and ring the bell to get notified. Hi, I'm Sandy Jerome and I'm a writer and a graduate of UCLA's Advanced Screenwriting Program. My screenplay, Runaway Cricket, is being produced as an animated musical sci-fi by BlackOrb.com. I'm an enrolled and blood member of the Cherokee Nation and a 2023 Native American Media Alliance Feature Film Fellow. If you visit my website, SandyJerome.com, I have lots of scripts, mostly with strong female leads. I also write a lot of books, and some are available for free download at my website, SandyJerome.com, or on Amazon. Just search on Amazon, Sandy Jerome. I'm a huge Disney fan and a certified Disney expert, and I wrote Pixie Dust Death. It's a young adult novel set at Disney World. I've also written a book about my experience on the Disney Wish Cruise, along with the Viking River Cruise. You can find links on my website, along with the shopping list, for items that I mention in the YouTube videos about these cruises. Now that I've finished my Disney Wish videos, I've moved on to Disney's Animal Kingdom, my favorite Disney park, and I've written a book about the amazing animals. Well, thank you for watching. Be sure to visit my website for some free ebooks you can download, and Please like and subscribe and ring the bell to get alerted of my next videos.